Special guests coming up here on First Take. Tomorrow we have Charles Tillman. Wednesday, it's Ronda Rousey. Looking forward to that, as always, 10 Eastern on ESPN2. Now, the NFC East, guys. The Cowboys, Giants, and Redskins are all tied at 2-2 two and two for first in the NFC East. And the Eagles, who many picked to win the division, are 1-3. and three. Our former Eagle, Eric Allen, is in the house. Good day. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Good to see you, good as to see always. You guys too. Better yeah. than my Cowboys are doing right mm. now. Yeah, it's all right, though. Well, it's mm. all right. We're going to get into that right now. <laughs> Please tell us, who is in control of the NFC East now well, after four weeks? Well, the Giants seem like they're in control right now. Yeah, Big Blue. Go Big Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah they, 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 they all have so many issues. You, you're talking about the running game with the Giants. But it, Eli's going to throw the ball, Dale Beckham, and, and Randall's coming up. Harris had a, had a really good game yeah. defensively, playing a lot better. But again, when the Giants are the Giants, and the Giants are the team that are going to go to the playoffs, they sack the quarterback. And I don't see that right now with the Giants. So there's issues there with this Giants being the giant football team that represents the NFC in the Super Bowl. I'm not sure if they're going to get there towards the end. Remember, guys, this is just the first quarter. Okay, So the first quarter means a lot, but you know there's still a lot of football to play. Dallas Cowboys with the injuries. I mean, you're talking about Dez, you're talking about Romo, you're talking about the other day Lance Dunbar that's may huge. have an ACL. And that's huge it for this football Lee. team. But... Getting Greg Hardy back, Rolando McClain back, and it was a great game last night, and you have to find a way to cover the wheel route, and you have a win. And Dallas Cowboys get that W without Tony Romo and Dez, that's awesome. You talk about the Redskins and the Eagles. My Eagles right now, <laughs> I, I saw the big plays. Yeah. But you know what? There are busted coverages in the back end. You can't guarantee a busted coverage every time you're going against an NFC East opponent. You can't do that. The running back is still going side to side to the downhill. Last year at this time, DeMarco Murray had 385 yards rushing. Right now, 75 yards rushing. How are you going to beat somebody with a balanced attack with 75 yard rushing from your million dollar man? You can't do it like that. And still, the offense looks sluggish at times. They look like they don't connect. There's just, and at the end of the game, the defense has been playing pretty good. Pretty much for the last couple of games, yeah. they play some zone defense and and they get torp in the middle. Then they go man and get the touchdown to M. Pierre Garcon. So there's a lot of issues with this NFC East right now. Right oh. now, the Giants are in control, but I think the Dallas Cowboys will eventually be the winner mm. of the wow. NFC East. And there's going to be uh, one. There's only going to be one team that goes to go the playoffs from the East, and it's going to be the Dallas Cowboys wow. when their guys get back. Okay. Probably if you don't mind. Go for um, it. I may need you to stand up for a second because I might need you to stand next to Skip Bayless because he might fall out of his chair. I'm glad to. Hold me what up. I'm about to say, yeah. and he may need somebody to hold back. him up. <sighs> Skip Bayless, I don't think you truly appreciate why I say the Dallas Cowboys are an accident waiting to happen. Oh, oh Lord. The reason why I continuously say they're an accident waiting to happen, Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. is because the truth is Eric's absolutely right. And if the Dallas Cowboys don't have an accident, there's nothing that's going to stop them from taking the division. And I think there's nothing that's going to stop them from getting to at least the NFC Championship game. Mm -hmm. I happen to think the Dallas Cowboys are that talented. I happen to now believe in Jason Garrett more than I ever did in the past. I happen to now believe in a healthy Tony Romo more than I ever did in the past. I happen to always have believed Des Bryant is shoot he's the new yeah. megatron yeah. as far as i'm concerned when when healthy because i think that megatron and those knees yeah. he's got to show yeah. me something tonight because i just don't believe in it anymore not his ability his his health I whereas agree. des bryant i believe Tez bryant will come back healthy and once he does that All i out. think he's gonna put i think he's gonna take off right where he left off i believe in rod marinelli's defense i know that it was a rookie that got inserted at a split yeah. second because of the injury i get all of that you understand? So when I look at the Dallas Cowboys, to me, for the first time in about 20 years, 20, I believe that the Dallas Cowboys legitimately, talent-wise, unlike Chip Kelly, who has a bunch of talent that doesn't fit, right. I think the Cowboys have talent that does fit mm -hmm. if they can stay healthy and stay out of trouble. I think that the Dallas Cowboys, at the very That's least, will go shot. to the NFC Championship game, you which do? is why, which is why, How? time out, which is why, I, I just finished saying, if healthy, that's what I'm saying, which is why I said, 
accident waiting to happen because the only thing you can say about Dallas is that no matter if it's injuries, weed, whatever, something happens that gets in the way. Now, we hope it's not injuries because we don't wish that on anybody, but it just seems to me that the Dallas Cowboys, whether it's because of karma, it's because mm -hmm. of Jerry Jones and his interest in the hype machine, even though he's considerably less interested in hype mm -hmm. than he was in the past, because mm -hmm. now when is the priority that it should be even more so, I just look at Dallas and I say, something always goes wrong, mm -hmm. but I cannot deny the right. talent that they have available to them and how if all things came together, they could beat anybody. I just don't believe it will happen. Okay, you, you realize Romo isn't due back until just before Thanksgiving. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter because understand. it doesn't matter because okay. it's the NFC East right, and now, nobody now, will be that far away. Now you two wide-eyed cowboy lovers over there. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I, I, let, let me just. <laughs> We're saying on this let's side. Let's be objective over here because I am. I'm having to deal with the reality of this. Here's what's about to happen. Your New York football mm -hmm. giants are about to pull off a seven-game winning streak. They're going to win their next five games. Book it. They're going to win their next five. I know they've got issues, but this schedule says, thank you, God. That's what it says. Oh, seven in a row. And my Dallas Cowboys are about to lose six straight games because they're going to lose to New England at home. Yep. They're going to lose at the New York Giants, who owe them for the opening night loss. They're going to lose to the Seahawks, who owe them for last year up in Seattle. That's mm -hmm. at home. Then they're going to lose to the Eagles at Jerry World because the Eagles owe them for earlier this year. And the Eagles always play well at Dallas. Just book it. They're going to lose six in a row. And at some point when Romo comes back, my Cowboys will have plummeted through no fault of their own, just through injuries, to three and six. At that point, the Giants will be seven and three. So it'll be a four-game, the three-and-a-half game bulge that the Giants will have. Then can my Cowboys win their last seven? It's possible because I agree. If they get healthy, they are sensationally talented. It's why I picked them to go to the Super Bowl. Could the Giants finish three and three to fall where they both finished ten and six? Maybe. But when you say win the NFC, get to the NFC Championship, man, it's going to take a minor miracle because I don't even know if Romo can get back for that game. What's the best team. unit? Uh, defense, offense, especially. What's the best unit in the NFC East? The Dallas Cowboys offensive line, and that's what's going to get. You know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you, I, I don't know about that right now. You know I don't know about that's that right now. Get them through. Okay. So, 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 so last night they rip off a 14-yard gain and a 45-yard mm -hmm. gain right. on the first two plays, mm -hmm. and after that they go. Tw I, what was it? 28 more. I'm off the top of my head. 28 more carries for like 56 yards. Hold on, hold on. I mean, they Stay couldn't right get there. a yard. Stay right there. Yeah. Right, right. Your man and mine. Prime time. Deion Sanders mm -hmm. pointed out something very, very wise last night. He said, yeah, there were some holes, but there were plenty of times when those runners didn't hit those holes. Mm -hmm. It ain't about the offensive line because it's not about the offensive line not doing what it's doing. It's about them not having the running back to capitalize off of okay, it, I which agree. again yeah. comes back to DeMarco. Yep. Now, I, has, I ask you this question. And I understand your argument, Skip Bailey. We're going to put Skip on the spot right here. All right. No. I understand your I'm, argument. I'm He's nervous. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Mm -hmm. You usually do get a little petrified. I understand. I understand. <laughs> right. I understand. Right. Right. That's what right. 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 But here's the deal. Here's the deal. I got to ask you this question, Skip, in all seriousness. I understand that you believe Jerry Jones was right. But if I sit there and I look at you and I say, Skip Bayless, an extra five or six million dollars will deliver you a Super Bowl championship mm -hmm. for the first time in 20 years. You taking that? Yeah, but I don't know what they did mm. offer him. I never heard this. No, no, it was no. never publicized no, no. what the offer no, 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 to the market no, 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 was. No, 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 no. Yes, it was. It was around twelve million. No, it was around. No. 12, I remember. I remember. It was around twelve million. Now he got nineteen and twenty from yeah, Philadelphia, okay. but it was around twelve million. What I'm saying to you is this, Skip. If you came up to eighteen, regardless of how much that may have compromised, considering the eighteen hundred and forty-five yards, considering the four hundred and forty-nine touches overall last mm -hmm. year, considering how it protected yep. Tony Romo, considering how it elevated Jason Witt even more, no, because of the, and I then the it. offensive line looked that much better. Yep. You not only had production, you had happiness mm -hmm. because guys were. <laughs> 
good with what was happening. Yeah. You sacrificed all of that. But once Chip Kelly offered an outrageous sum for him, yeah, he's yeah, like, I gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah. He, he had to go. He had to go, college, Eric, yeah, because of the discrepancy that. compared he would to what do it was over two right now, though, too. In a discrepancy, you trying to tell me that DeMarco Murray sits there and leaves Dallas with that offensive line because of a million and a half or something like that? No, he wouldn't. He would do a duo. So that's what I'm saying. Okay, you know that. Jerry was with you about this. They were fearful that he had been used up last year, that he was an accident. They're trying to find the guy. You see that the numbers in the carriage are trying to find the guy to help them later on in the season. All maybe right? maybe it's Kristen Michael. Maybe it's McFadden more. No, oh, come on now. Well, hey, DeMarco, stop well, it, not, stop it, stop it. Just accept well, well, it. Well, is DeMarco DeMarco it's anymore? No, 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 no. In Philly, because no. he doesn't have that offensive line that Chip Kelly side side gave side. away three offensive We're, lines. Yeah, run the side away. To side. Her, you know what I mean? Come on Go now. Go get the guy. Pyramids and Matt. Run What do you want? You did that. Let him go back to Dallas. He looked just like he looked last year. All right. The last time there were back-to-back -back division winners in the NFC East, that was 2001 to 2004. It was the Philadelphia Eagles. Eric Allen, thank you so much for being with us. Anytime. We appreciate it. We have breaking news coming out of Miami concerning the future of head coach Joe Philbin. We'll discuss that, fill you in, and react to it after the break. Stay here. This is First Takes.